Today is July 22nd. The Yankees just walked off the Phillies to complete the two-game sweep. They've won nine of their last 12 games. They're incredibly fast. They put the ball in play, and they're the hottest team in baseball. Let's talk Yanks, babe. Talking Yanks with old John Boy. John Boy and Jake. Recaps galore. Weekly awards. Stat lines, steam, and hot takes. Get your Yankees news from these two fine dudes. It's time for Talking Yanks. Talking Yanks with old John Boy. John Boy and Jake. Talking Yanks with old John Boy. John Boy and Jake. Hello and welcome to Talking Yanks, brought to you by DraftKings. My name is Jimmy. Sitting next to me, I have Jake. And in the corner, I got producer BBD. We were at game two today, and we just got back to the office and set up. It's 1225 in the a.m., so it's a late night record. But I love it because we get to take the emotions of the game mm. with us to the studio. And that was in a big time seesaw roller coaster didn't know what was going to come up on the roulette wheel win or loss and that would have changed the entire vibe of the whole episode luckily fantastically harvey kiner gets it done and i'm excited to talk about it jake how are you doing thank you harvey i'm doing well james big baby david all you sickos in the chat and your moms what's going on everybody uh jim You know, this is where we start out most episodes. You and I aren't the two biggest religious guys. Yeah. We believe in energy. Yeah. I believe in... I believe in the... uh, I believe in pink. I believe in... I believe in the color of your atmosphere. Jimmy. Is that the lyric? The energy is different. And what does it mean? (laughs) Good news, bad news. We're going to find out in the next seven days. Uh, Red Sox in Tampa. But for now... The energy at the stadium is different than it was at all during the first half. The energy and the vibes of the team is different. I mean, I had someone hit me with the next man up in the stadium, and it's felt that way. It's felt that way, whether you're up and you're bunting or you're pinch hitting or you're doing what you're doing. Hey, the Yankees also hit a few long balls in this series that were very important to them winning, but they also did the other stuff. And Glaber Torres is bunting. Didn't know he had that in the bag. And, Jim, I told you before this set, I told you in our midweek episode, I told you after last episode, or I think the midweek, I got really into this Philly series because these two games had a big impact on how the next seven feel. We can kind of survive the next seven, and with these two wins, we still feel okay. We made it through. If we got beat up this series, I mean, there's, you know, we're back to talking who we're trading away. So, man, uh, this was big. We've got a little bit of life, and uh, I'm excited, man. I'm going to be excited for the next 24 hours, and then our season will be on the line again. How about that? Ain't that it? Ain't that baseball? Bring the energy into Fenway? Sweep them. Why not? And then they're what? In first place, but like like five games back still? And three. Seven back, right? To the what? it's It's a big ask. Yeah, no, I mean, I I genuinely think, and I guess this is starting even bigger picture than I anticipated, you know, seven games versus Boston and Tampa, four at Boston, four at Tampa. If you put up a four, four and three, let's be honest, two good, seven, two good teams, seven game road trip, like then I can mentally tack on the two Philly games and I'm like, oh, shoot. That's six and three in that stretch. We would take that all day. I mean, even three and four, the Yankees would walk away saying, like, we still got plays. Like, the wild card's going to be three games out or whatever it is. Um, This was big. And, I uh, again, I think this episode is going to end up with you and me 
looking at each other in the lo- eyes, thinking about times we've kissed, saying like, <laughs> in 24 hours, it's not going to matter, and that's going to be insane. Because the energy tonight was awesome. Good job to the crowd. Good job to the Yankees, man. They're it's having not- fun, dude. Well, they're a completely different team. They're having fun. It's a different brand of baseball. Ryan Lamar's press conference. He's such a greaser. He's a greaser. Yes. Yes. He needs a comb. Let's he get needs a, a switchblade comb. Chad, I know you're listening. Hickster, Why don't we just send Clint, one to him? If we send you a comb, will you keep it in the dugout, right? We'll just address it to him. Everyone buy a switchblade comb from Amazon, send it to Yankee yeah. Stadium, address to Ryan. Couple get through? Uh, I mean, it's a comb. I think it'll get through. You just send it to Yankee Stadium, address to Ryan Lamar. We he, might have to send it to Boston. They're going to Boston. No, he comes back from the road oh. trip, and there's just nothing but switchblade combs for him. We could do it, man. We could start a movement. This is nuts. What? Former Twins third baseman Trevor Plouffe is in the live chat right now. I think he he says he wants you to get some cough drops. Yeah, a lot of people are saying and laughing, and they're like, is Jake's voice just like this now? And the answer's yes. Yeah. <laughs> the answer's yes. You're like sexy Phoebe I when, she, sexy. Uh, when she's all cat, sick. Yeah. Smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Ran out of breath. Not bad. All right, so uh, send your switchblade combs <laughs> to Ryan Lamar. <laughs> Can you remind me to do this tomorrow? Which part? To send him a send switchblade, a switchblade comb. to Yankee Stadium. I mean, how many things is there? Ten bucks. I'm gonna order it. I'll okay. Hold on. Or add to cart. I'll do this as the show goes on. I'll just send it to Yankee Stadium and yes. address it to Ryan Lamar. At Anyone else wants to do it as well? New York Yankees. No, one sixty first River Street. Ryan Lamar. Yeah, CC Ryan Lamar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're welcome. Like, instead of the apartment number, just put CC Ryan Lamar. That's how you send things to people, guys. Come on. Come on. Live in the now, for Christ's sake. Let's go over some transactions, okay? Because things keep happening nonstop. When was the last episode? What was uh, the date of Tuesday? 20th. Okay, so since the 20th, or on the 20th after we did that, or as we were doing the episode, Trey Ambergy went on the 10-day injured list with the right hamstring strain. Uh, and they called up Estevan Florio. After that, they had to activate Asher Wojciechowski, who started game two. And to make room for him, they sent Hoy Park back down. It was it was clear they felt like they were going to rush him and felt like they didn't want to rush him uh, at all. They weren't going to play him. He got one pinch hit at bat. And they sent him right back down. Their hands were very forced about bringing him up because they had right. literally no one else to bring up. There's a growing contingent of Yankee fans. I'm guessing the same exact people that made call up Andujar a hashtag mm. and then like release Florial after his one game in 2019 or 2020. Release Florial? Whatever it was for Florial. Call up Florial? But now, now they have one for Park. It's not call up Park. It's something else. Like, like release Park or save Park or something, clamoring for him. And gotcha. that, those people, like, annoy me more than the Yankees not giving him a shot annoys me, so. Yeah, I mean, a lot of those people are kids. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the the Park thing, and I'll, I'll, you know, where those people have a little bit to stand on. Like, baseball's a funky sport. Like, uh, Hoy Park may not be ready for the big leagues, but, you know, he's still seen 94-mile-per-hour fastballs, and if you give him a start, who cares? Um At the same time, like, good things are happening, so get over it. Like, if we lost four and Hoy Park never played, like, then I'd be sitting here like, I don't give a shit, we're losing games. (laughs) Play Hoy Park. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. So, it is what it is. Hopefully he keeps raking in AAA and he forces the Yankees' hands or he forces another team's hands to let him play Major League Baseball. I was... A little shocked that that was all the roster moves that have happened since our last episode. But it is Wednesday night, and our last episode was Tuesday morning. Yeah. And four roster moves did happen. Yeah. So Florial happened during. Yeah, but still, like in the last 24 or 48 hours, just Mm -hmm. four roster moves. We're just been been used to so many. And it really is crazy, man. I know. uh, I've seen Yankees injury Twitter picking up a little bit. Um, and it kind of should, but it, 
you know, we we are lucky enough that we do some national baseball stuff now. And a lot of teams have had injuries this year that have gotten talked about. The Yankees haven't been one of them. But, man, you see their injury list right now, and, I mean, Voigt, Gio, Anduhar, Clint, Hicks, Judge, Locastro, Kluber, Schmidt, Severino, Nestor, King, Loisaga, Ode, Peralta. You know, you're, you're talking about more than half a roster of MLB guys. It's a lot of bodies. Um, so it, this is, I think, the biggest thing and where I want to live for the next, you know, hour or so of this podcast is how much fun this is, man. And this is what we've been asking for all year through all the double plays, through all the non-emotion, through all the rest days. We just, it's, it. end of the day, it is entertainment. We turn it on for three and a half hours a night and, and look to get away. And for a lot of this year, it just ain't been fun. And this is so much fun, So much man. fun. And that's why there might be, you know, I just said I don't like the kids that always say just call them up or whatever, but the Florial Yellers, oh, it's still early. Very o- early. Off-speed pitches still ain't looking great right now, but... The speed and the defense and all that has been amazing, and obviously what Allen's doing as well, and it's just so different. He looks the part, too, which I think is part of it. Like, he is seeing him run and seeing the power in his swing. You get it. You get why you've heard all of those things for the past few years about the tools, and it's like, holy smokes, yeah. If he connects with one, he can hit it 450. He can also sprint. He can also... Um, be really nice in press conferences. You can, so. yeah, as you can see the tools when you're watching, and you have like heard him talk for the first time ever, and yeah. you can, you can see you attach. that Yankees, the Yankee makeup that one for gets over talked about, but and that's where, and, and Jim, I said this to you, I think after the post game ended, like you know we could be saying this stuff, Florial and Park. For two weeks of MLB baseball, I think they could do similar things. You run into a couple fastballs or, you you know, a couple pitchers miss to you. I, I bet they can both put the bat on the ball. It'll be interesting to see how long it rides. Um, and, man, I uh, you guys know, talking Yanks, been in front of the mic for a while with you guys. Or he's six episode 629. Uh Daddy loves a center fielder, so I uh, I'll be on the Florial train until it fucking crashes. I hope it doesn't crash. Hey, whoa! Oh, I'm talking like 20 years from now. Oh, whoa! Like for the fans, it would be like, damn, we just got 20 years of that. He's 43. <laughs> He's 43 years old. What right a now. freak! <laughs> Defied odds. <laughs> I wouldn't. I just, 20 year Yankee. Yeah. That's First a big 20 one. year Yankees since that's Jeter. A, that's a big one. <laughs> that might. Well, we'll see. Okay. Um, no crash. I don't want to cut them short. <laughs> this just in more. order placed. Thanks. Confirmation will be sent to your email. Shipping to Ryan Lamar, 1 East 161st Street, Bronx, New York, 10451. Uh, a set of four switchblade combs. So mm-hmm. we can just. He'll know exactly what to do with them when he gets these. Time you boys head into the park today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You ready to take BP? Okay. I guess I'll hop out there. <laughs> yeah, some loving wasn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get to the burns. There's Could've two of them. Huge and Jake's plays. actually going to burn himself I with a lit a cigar lot of as he does these. This burn is brought to you by Rice. Mm. Rise is our favorite app that tracks your sleep and your sleep debt. I've been scared to check my Rise yeah. ever since the Denver <laughs> trip because we were on f- four hours of sleep every single day, and I don't know if I'm making up for it. And it, we started this podcast at twelve thirty in the morning, yeah. so I'm it a little got scared. Bad for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the Rise sleep app, we it's fourteen hours debt. It was. I'm, I'm up to eleven. All right. I, I honestly, this is like Schrodinger's cat situation. I honestly haven't checked mine. In a while, because I've been scared. Because it's almost like I'm scared. Yeah. Because once I check then it, it becomes real. Oh wow! Oh, okay. Mine's not bad, man. Because the last two nights I actually did well. Finished you know what move. I do like about the Rise app? What's that? I think there's some sleep apps that it feels like it doesn't give you credit. The Rise app gives you makeup credit. Like if you get your night's sleep. Yeah. Like, you're like, okay, I'm back on it. Like I've gotten pretty deep into debt. 
I'm and at eight point seven hours dead. I've never like fully cleared it, fully cleared it, but I've gotten into the the good range many times. Like you can make Jake progress. go look. Can you go? Can you go slide back? My all star trip. Yeah, it's not pretty. I was exchanging it with Moylan. <laughs> They're bad. <laughs> what is it? Tell me your. Tell me it. Um, let me get there. So the Saturday before, when I made like four, the Garrett Cole yeah. off the mound breakdown when he refused to go out, and then we had to leave for the airport at five a.m. Yeah. I got four hours of sleep that night, and that was before Denver. Now I actually oh did God. so well by going to sleep at two a.m. Mm. instead of what you and Moreland did on uh, Sunday night, because I actually got eight hours Sunday oh, night because uh, I went two a.m. Well, that can't be true. Two a.m. to ten a.m. We slept till ten. But uh, that's midnight to eight Den- Denver, Denver time. Denver time. That yeah. makes sense. And but then the next yeah. next day was only five hours. What did you do? You had to be three hours of sleep each night. I was the, wor- three. the worst I got was it was actually sixteen and a half hours on the day we got back from Denver. I was three fifteen, five twenty, four fifteen, five. That's brutal, dude. But I mean, luckily before that, I was a wedding in Buffalo. Well, the Rise app allows you to track your sleep because it lets you see your sleep debt. You can make up for sleep. You just can't do what we were just talking that we did. Uh, And the Rise helps. It pulls historical data from your phone or your your wearables and determines uh, it tracks your sleep debt and, and it determines the best time for you to go to sleep. Rise can also pull data from any apps and wearables. Every morning, Rise tells you how long you'll be groggy when your peak focus time will be, and when you should start winding down for better sleep and more energy the next day. With Rise, you can improve 16 science-based habits that will help you reduce your sleep debt and organize your day based on your energy schedule. Uh, so go to risescience.com slash yanks and download the Rise, R-I-S-E app today to try it free for seven days. Most Rise users feel benefits in just five days, so try it today to learn more about your sleep energy levels, plus feel better all for free. During the trial, risescience.com slash yanks. Let's go to the burn of game one. Jake, you are on the clock. Burn, Jake, burn. Two games set in the Bronx. Domingo on Lunes for the pinstripes. Verse, his name is Nola. N-O-L-A, Nola. As Aaron takes the pill for the fightings. All this talk about greasers. How about some reeser? Hoskins with the solo dong for the Phillies to put them up 1-0 in the second. I love your floral arrangement. RBI ground out. We're tied at one. Oh, don't do it to me, Toe. Toe with the big double to the wall. 2-1 Phillies after that. But these Yankees are built different. Speaking of doppelgangers, Wade lines one to short. Didi throws it away. That'll tie the game. Speed kill as Greg Allen mixes it up on the bases. And then in the fifth, it was the Gardner with the bat in the Bronx. Home run. Guard dog. 3-2 Yankees. In the sixth, the Kraken shows fortitude as he makes it 4-2. Giancarlo, let the rhythm take you over, Giancarlo. Tequero, solo homer like that. It is 5-2, to two. John Boy's real height after 7. Gene Bean with the RBI single cuts the lead into 1. But Jim, Floriel, are you for real? Hell yes. Home run, it's 6-3, to three. Yankees McCutcheon. Tees one up because he's an old friend, but we don't care. Yanks, Domingo to Sessa to Licky to Chad to Zach to Chapman. Yankees win 6 4, take game one in the Bronx. Good stuff. De Blanc. You're working on your floral stuff, huh? De Blanc. Well, I say it's the, the floral stuff for a second. So okay. Because that the second floral thing you said there, I messed it up. All right, the first floral about flowers. I love flower. Your, I love your floral, floral arrangement. arrangement. That was good. Yeah. What was the second one you said? Uh, it was supposed to be from uh, Ride with Me, Nelly. Hell nah, you floral. But I had said floral first. 
Oh, do it how you wanted to say it. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Are you going to save maybe it? I will. Maybe okay, I'll, okay. Maybe I can mix that That in. was the first time, and I mean this as a compliment, yeah. that I heard something and I said, what the fuck was that? Yeah, I said the floor. Well, we, there's been other times you said, what the fuck is that? Well, it's Let's rare. Honest, a works. lot of times it works. Yeah, they find a way. Life finds a way. Female dinosaurs. We used to call Jake a female dinosaur. So do you know that, BBD? true. Didn't know that. Uh, in Jurassic Park, when... They're like, how can the female dinosaurs mate? They're both female. And then they're like, life finds a way. We used to say that's Jake. He's been on three hours of sleep for six days straight. It's like, how does Jake survive? Well, he's a female dinosaur. It's just going to be a sad death. He's two female dinosaurs reproducing. That's Jake. Oh, I'd pay for that. (laughs) You'd pay for that? Are you kidding me? Two female dinosaurs mating? Put that on the YouTube? We're done. (laughs) <laughs> your Damn. talking Yanks is done. You're paying. How many views that we get? If they found, was found footage. Yeah. Found in a... John Boy Media frozen, YouTube. A frozen Two pool in Alaska. female dinosaurs banging. It's like a billion views. You'd have to That's put... like Adele shit. You put it in parentheses, real footage. <laughs> <laughs> You've probably seen the fake stuff on other sites. Uh all right, this game, the lineup was bizarre. DJ gets mm. scratched at the last second. To make it even more bizarre, means Brett Gardner's the leadoff guy. Uh, means Brantley's playing first base. He's not a first baseman. And it was a mm. weird before that even happened, especially knowing they had Herman, who wasn't on the uh, longest of uh, pitch counts because he hasn't really been stretched out. But we did know going in that they had the good bullpen behind him, and they ended up really leaning on that. Um, Sessa, who's been good, he's just kind of deep on the good list. Then Litke with the good outing. I feel like he needed that, and I feel like it didn't feel good, but the results were good. Uh, Chad Green, uh, Britton comes in, and Chapman. We'll talk a lot about the individual performances, I think, of some of those guys later. I don't know. Yeah, it was it was kind of funny coming into this game. I was excited for the bullpen because we did have bodies, bodies we like. They don't necessarily... Not all of them are necessarily locked in right now. Like, you know, Licky has been going through it a little bit. Again, when you look at his numbers on the year and think about what he's done, <laughs> like doesn't matter. He's been great for us. Uh, Chad Green, uh, the Yes Network in a 6-4 game, gave Chad Green the player of the game in a .2 inning performance. So that's how big his outs were. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Chapman was one of the walkaways, which, again, he might get talked about later. Um it looked in like this Yankees team, it looked and felt different. Like he was pumping it. Yes, McCutcheon clipped him, but like Chapman was pumping over a hundred easy on the radar gun. Um and it well You're getting was, ahead of us. I was gonna say, man, it's not something so many gotta be careful with that. Okay. Cool. Um Was there any there wasn't any crazy decisions or anything, right? That's kind of it. Um, let's see. Your gallon stole a base. Uh, big Zach Britton double play. I kind of forgot about that. That was huge. Fields it, fires to second, and you're scared because it's a pitcher. He's he was good. in trouble, but that was good. Greg Allen triple. Michael Brantley got this. Mm-hmm. DJ was supposed to start this game. I said, Stomach stuff. said all that already. Well, we got to follow it up. Let's go to game two. Okay. On your mark, get set. Burn! Holy double opener day. Wojciechowski Gazuntai for the Yanks versus Shane. Home run to Spencer Howard for the Phils as the Pinstripers try to win. Four straight leadoff hitter Billy Jean just hit a homer. Segura into the seats to start the game. In the third, Bryce Hall Harper dances a talk to double. <laughs> That's bad. Two nothing Phillies. Gracias de Caracas as the Venezuela victor. Labor Torres, his third homer in four games. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Cuts the lead in half. MVP most ball in his player. Greg Allen, RBI double. Like a good night out. We are tied up at two. It would stay that way into the seventh. He's no longer just Mike. Giancarlo takes the lead with a big opposite field RBI single. And the Yankees weren't done yet. 
He's here. He's there. He's every fucking where. Oh, door. Oh, door. Rugi Ruai. Oh, no. Watch that homer go. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's 5 2 Yanks. In comes Zach with a K. But reminders, reminds of, of the Euros as Britain gets knocked out. It's tied up at fives as Whittle Baby Toe scores on a wild pitch. Bunos Cantos into the 10th. Oh, daddy's feeling frisky as Trisky shuts down the fills. And I love bad pitches. Got a fucking problem. I am Ryan Lamar. Let's go home as I hit the ball far. It's a walk-off RBI single as the Yanks go. Listen to this, Jim. Woj, Abreu, Wilson, Britton, Nelson, Chapman, Krisky. Yanks win 6-5, sweep the series and spit in my mouth. Let's go, Yanks. Spit in my mouth. First one of the season? Uh... Good stuff, Jake. You were staring at me at one of, one part of it. I know when you're going to like like it. Well, I love the Louie Louie yeah. song. Especially pivoting that off of yesterday's he's here, he's there, he's every fucking way out. Yeah. Because you probably thought that'd be it, but no. There's but more. no. There's more. There's more. There's always more. Hey, kid, you ever seen two dinosaurs fucking? Hey, I have a question. Sure. You opened up with Wojciechowski, and then you said Gesundheit. Yeah. And we're totally going to say Gesundheit when we get old. Yeah. Which makes me think, did my grandpa not say it when he was young? Is it just a Ooh, thing you say when you thing. turn old? Or what did my grandpa grow up? Because I figured my grandpa grew up in the age when they said it. Interesting. Like, my grandma still calls it a Frankfurter. And she grew up saying Frankfurt. No, it's not it something is. she turned on to be funny. It's never a cool joke. Like, no one ever says Gesundheit, and you're like, oh, my God, Gesundheit. It's, no, it's nothing. Like, someone says Gesundheit, and you're just like, oh, yeah, that's the joke you make if, if someone says a long name. Dude, you know what? Yeah. You say Gesundheit when a little kid sneezes, because then the little kid laughs because it's a funny word to them. Yeah. So that's maybe why grandparents do it. Yeah. Because I'm going to start saying it. Yeah, I've tru- I truly believe in my theory. It's a German word. word. It means health. Mm-hmm. Health. Every time you sneeze, probably means I'd like to good ask health. a German about that. Okay. Do they say that? Probably not, right? No, I don't think so. So do they just think that's the weirdest shit ever? Because why would you just say? Oh health? yeah, sometimes when people sneeze, we say Gesundheit. Well, a lot of American words are German words that we just kind of like. French and I's and English and I's. Kindergarten. Where'd you read that? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Yeah. Biergarten. Yep. Schwingischford. It's a lot of German words. Sure. Oh, yeah. They've got their whole thing going over they there. They have a whole book. They have a them. whole language they use. Yes. Fact. <laughs> but we were around first. What do you think of all the stuff? <laughs> Same lineup, but DJ's back. He's healthy. Yeah, be- uh, DJ doesn't have the poops anymore. He comes back. Um, everyone got a hit besides Wade again? Is that true? Come on. That's true, man. He walked. Yeah, he did walk. Everyone uh, got on base. You could have said that. All right, I didn't say it. Everyone got, I just looked at the hit column first. Everyone got on base. Every starter got on base. Uh, pitching, I mean, obviously the Yankees saved all their... Good pitchers. I did think that Britton and Chapman would be available in the pregame show. I said if it's close, I think they'd go to them. Over Chad. Over Chad. And they did. Um, man, Britton walked to. I mean, we'll get into some individual performances. But the biggest sign, and I tweeted, I said to you at the game, was when Wojciechowski was in the second or third third inning. Yeah. Two on. Game on the line. No outs. They had no action in the bullpen. They had no one stirring, no one stretching, nothing at all. And it was like, oh, they don't care about the results of Rojahowski's outing. They just want to get 70 pitches out of him. How many pitches did he throw? 83. They just want to get 80 pitches out of him. Yeah. No matter what. So thank God. It's actually like Woj going four innings pitch, two runs, because they were going to let him go 
Four innings pitched. Three, they're going to let him go three innings pitch, five earned runs. They're just getting 80 pitches out of Woj. They had no one stirring when he was in trouble at all. Yeah, I mean, he hit by pitch Real Muto. Harper double. McCutcheon walk. So the first three hitters are on. Um, and nobody's getting loose. And he was around pitch like 57. I remember we looked up at the scoreboard and we're like, oh, so this is happening. So, hey, man, uh, a little credit where credit's due there. He gets out of that and then he gives them... Does he give them another inning? Yeah, one, two, three, fourth. So we thought four was kind of the top ask from Woj. And, hey, good for him, man. Good for him. Four innings pitch, two earn. I mean, three walks, 4K. That's a guy who's battling out there. Yep. Abreu looks good. Wilson comes in, walks mm-hmm. one guy. Actually looks good. Um, the rest, I think, <laughs> are will be talked about. But exciting game. I mean... A lot of people were saying it was ugly and it was bad. Knowing we were going to use those pitchers, right? I actually liked the game. I'm not that upset about it, you know. Yeah, I mean, there. If it was Monty, Tyone, Cole, to Liza, Liza yeah. Chad, Britton, Chapman, I'd be like, oh man, expectations, expectations. So yeah, uh, we'll we'll talk about some tomorrow problems at the end of the episode and the pregame show tomorrow because <laughs> the bullpen. Well, unless Johnny Laza comes back, that would be nice. And they said he should. Well, they said the they said weekend. he's going to be the weekend, so that can mean a couple different things. So hey, again, we're enjoying it now, um, man. It's you know my kind of lame energy speech. Like there's something there, man. They're having fun. They believe. I mean, it's kind of funny that. Giancarlo said it, but, you know, what, what was the exact quote? He was like, you know. Hungry and scrappy, the guy, new guys. Guys are playing like it's their last day or something like that. And it's like, dude, kind of messed up. Because I think some some guys are going to have to come up in the next week or so. But guys are playing like it's their last chance. Um, and that's just really cool to see. And it's worked. And it's worked, yeah. All right, let's move on to the mm-hmm. awards section since we only have two games, which is brought to you, as always, by DraftKings. They have a deal right now going on with the Olympics if you bet on America to uh, win a medal. You bet $1 for any American Olympian win a medal. to win a medal. At this whole Olympics. It could be bronze. You get 100 free dollars. <laughs> you take that, 100 free dollars. You put a dollar on the Yankees every night. And then you save some for the playoffs, and you just enjoy the games a little more or less. That's betting. They're giving away a hundred bucks. They're giving away a hundred free credits to bet with. So download the top rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code Jumbo when you sign up. To turn one dollar into one hundred dollars in free credits if America wins a medal. That's code Jumbo to turn one dollar into one hundred dollars in free credits for a limited time only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey, Indiana, PA, only new customers, only restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem call 1-800-GAMBLER in Indiana, 1-800-9-WITH-IT. All right, since I like to go to church on the weekdays as well as the weekends, and therefore I'm closer to God, I The church has gotten rid of you. It's a new church. Mm. Yeah, it's brand new, and it's awesome. You've been exiled. The church. And it's awesome, and I get to go first. Mm. And the first award that we give out here mm. on Talking Yanks is Pride of the Yankees. Pride of the Yankees. Pride of the Yankees. Yeah. Yeah. And my pride, my pride of the Yankees. Hey guys, listen up. I gotta tell you something. It's my pride of the Yankees. I'm uh, mm. I hope you really appreciate it. Mm. And uh, it is uh, mm. Greg Allen. Mm-hmm. 500 on base percentage, 333 average, two, two stolen bases, two walks, two hits, two runs scored, triple, doing everything. Like, honestly, hit a triple, stole two bases, scored from third on a uh, fielder's choice error type thing. Like, He's a he's a ooh guy. He's a new guy. He's a you see him playing, you go ooh. He's doing something. 
making things happen. Sure is, man. And honestly, it kind of is. Like, there was one guy at the stadium today that chanted MVP. One guy. When Allen came up. That same guy had chanted, chanted for Odor yeah, earlier. He changed his vote. That's all. That's life. You gotta change your heart. You're we're allowed you're allowed to change your opinions on things. Total eclipse in the heart. Dun, dun. So Greg Allen's my Greg Allen. Pride of the Yankees, yeah. It's a good one. He's everywhere. Like he's kind of the Odor song right now. But like in a baseball in, in way. A baseball way. Yes. yes. Odor is just kind of in the... Between the whistle, Odor's everywhere. Did, it, did you see the Sterling call on Gary's homer? They go on a big Odor thing, because Odor go, gives him, comes out first, gives him the first high five, obviously, obviously. and then he runs through Follows the tunnel, high fives behind right. him. So he and Gary are both getting high fives from the entire roster. And there was a good... Good joke. They do the Montefiore doing more <laughs> player of this <laughs> last week, <laughs> and Ruggie Odor got the the doing more. It's award, never, never which, been more appropriate. Yeah. Can we hear this? Sure. Pitch. Swung on. Hit high in the air to right. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone in the second deck. Ruggie. Just hits a two-run home run in the second deck and right. And the Yankees expand their lead to 5-2. Shut the door, Odor. Pitch. It's good. Shut the door. Sounds like he's saying shut the door, but he's drunk. Shut the door. Shut the door, Odor. Could be it. Could be. All right, who's your pride? Unless you have anything else to say. It's a good pride, man. He's been playing great. Um, yeah, man. Stealing bases. It's a little pop in the bat. Had a missed cutoff today. Guess what? I don't care. He's been great. He's been great. <laughs> we, uh, we were at the game with a friend who was... You know, not deep into the Yankees land. He's, he's, he was asking questions why people were so excited about Greg Allen. He's like, I'm not, I'm not familiar with this guy. He's hitting 500. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's been it's been a couple days, but he's been killing it. So keep doing that. Um, good pride, Jimmy. Thanks, Jake. I'm interested to see where you go with yours. Holy smokes, man! Uh, there are a couple. Diffy options. Um, you know what I think I'm gonna do. Mm. It's Gary. Oh, it's Gary Sanchez. Oh, interesting. Uh, Gary's hitting numbers this series go with everyone. It's two games, people, so it's it's a little high and tight. Uh, Gary Sanchez. Three for eight, a walk. He has the home run. And the reason I'm giving it to him, A, today at the stadium, Gary was getting beat up, man. He took a couple shots that you're like, oh, yeah, dude. This is why catchers don't hit at the same level as other positions in the MLB because they literally just get beat up. And Jim, his homer in the first game, he had that look, man. Um, he took, I want to make sure I get it right, but he, he was the first pitcher, he was the first hitter of the inning. Um, took a ball, took a strike, um, and he just gave it to Gary. Oh, I, I see it. I see it, look. Next pitch, four-seamer. And there's times when homers are pretty. Yes. And that was a majestic, yeah. pretty home run. Like, you could you could know nothing about baseball, and you watch it, and you're like, oh, that's the goal. That's the goal. Um, and that also stretched it from a one-run game to a two-run game that had the Yankees kind of in control, which with these new... 
you don't want to say flukish Yankees, but these new Yankees, a two-run lead means a lot more than a one-run lead, especially with everything in the bullpen and all that. So I'm giving it to Gary. Gary Bear. I wonder how they're going to handle him the next couple games. Is he going to play all four in Boston? Is Higgy going to be healthy? When's Cole slated to pitch? Friday. Friday, right? And what what day are we on on this COVID list? Do we know? It happened it's after, after the All-Star break, so they were supposed to play Thursday. Th- Thursday was the day so they had to cancel the game. Be a so week I would assume tomorrow. that's the start. So that's seven days. That's ten days. So Friday would be eight days. Saturday would be nine. Okay. Sunday would be ten. Then they have an off you day. Have complete ten or what? So by the Tampa series, they should Geo, Nestor, Judge should all be back. Some may be able to get back earlier. The hope would be, and I was wondering how we were going to talk about this, or at least my hope is that they kind of trickle in. Yeah. Because we've got a lot of fond memories and a good taste in our mouth with a lot of these guys. So, like, if you could let that fade by a day and, like, say it's, you know, Higgy for Brantley, we're like, fine, that's okay. If, you know, one of the outfielders has a bad day, then you say, oh, okay, Judge is back. Like, that's fine. We had fun. So I hope there's a little bit of a trickle in um, so we can keep some of the good juju around. But, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see and, you know, check out the beat reporters to see who's getting the – the double double test passed. Pass. Pass. Check out the B reporters. Double test passed. Double. Who's going to pass the double test? Who's going to pass the double test? Yes. I think that's what's. Double yes. test. Double, double, double test. All right. The next award that we give out here on Talking Jakes. You Yankee motherfucker. Oh. Um, Two game winner? Two game winner. Blue Jean Baby. I feel bad about this. This is tough, man. I don't like this. How did we never make a sweep no MF rule? It always hurts. I think there's two options. Okay. Um, and I think one is ninth round pick out of the draft this year, Chandler Champlain. What's he been doing? Why did it take so we long? We need help. Yes. My other option might be the most recent free agent acquisition by the Yankees, Sal Romano. Signed him on July 18th. His last... His last... Sal Romano's with the Yankees? Yeah, did you not know that? Oh. Yes, they signed him. We normally open with that kind of stuff. They signed him, but he's not my MFR. So he's not getting it. No. He's an upstate New York guy. You think so? Yeah. He's from Southington, Connecticut. He went to Southington High School. He was born in Siasset, New York. His first full name is Salvatore J. Romano. It's How'd good, you pronounce that town name? Good Paisan. Siasset? I believe it's Syosset, but same. Well, I can't it. see it, so I don't know how. What oh, I that? see it now. That's, That's what a dumb Sam, spelling that is. Samba Island. I don't care about it. Southington High School, Carl Pavano. Pavano, Romano, both Southington High School guys? Yes, sir. Uh, all right, my motherfucker is Nick Nelson. Yeah. I mean, think about if they don't win this game. Yeah, the wild pitch. How I didn't see it on TV. Have you guys seen replays in person? It looked like he absolutely spiked the ball, like a miss. I don't know what it looked like on TV. I wonder if we tweeted it from Talking Yanks. I'm gonna go check because I'm interested to see how bad it looks or not bad. Seem bad. Seem bad, and something that I'm really Yankees AAA. Yankees completed a combined no hitter. Wow, good for them. Uh, Something that I'm really starting to get frustrated with with these Yankees, Jake. Whenever we go to games, yeah. I guess we didn't post this. Whenever we go to games, and there's a moment where the whole stadium 
is on their feet chanting and cheering, the Yankees pitchers blow it, and they step off. And that Harper at bat, I mean, after spiking it, and then you have them two strikes, and Harper's dying on the field, and Yankee fans are being classless and kind of mean because Harper looked like he was in a lot of pain. Mm. But then he gets back in the box, and then you just lock him? Yeah. Got out of it, sure, after that, but he did tie the game. Britain gets the run counted, but it was just like, I, I wish I could see it, but he just spiked the ball. Spiked it. Um, yeah, again, this is tough. Two-game sweep, and, you know, <laughs> if he throws a fastball over the plate to Bryce Harper, I don't <laughs> – we might be having a similar discussion with a, a very different emotion. So, it's – uh, yeah, that's tough, man. And, dude, how about – Nick Nelson's story this year. God, that could be a mini video. Like, the situations he's come into this year. Yeah, they're not using him great. Like, they keep putting Nick Nelson in a spark spot. Like, oh, dude. If if Nick Nelson gets out of this one, he could be back on track. And every time it's like, hey, let's give him, like, a clean inning up six. I know that. Or they make him spot start or start a game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know that I shouldn't have taken the bait on this at all, but there were some people in my mention on Twitter saying, like, Gary has to stop it or blaming Gary for this. And in live speed, we don't have the greatest angle from our seats. I was like, what? That looked like he absolutely yanked a ball. And now watching the video of it, I mean, he absolutely yanked a ball. (laughs) I shouldn't have taken the bait, but. And And I think it's. It bounces pretty far ahead of him, too. Like, it's spiked and yanked. Yeah, it's, like, not an easy play. Yeah, Because in, re- in real time, the only thing I, I could see know, was that it was pretty far ahead. Yeah, I didn't know how wide it was. I just knew it bounced before the batter's box. So, yeah. It's a bad thing to do. Yeah. S- second pitch you throw after being com- come into the game. So, yeah. you know, they won two games, and it's, you know, maybe not he shouldn't be in that spot, and they're not using him whatever, whatever, whatever. Band-Aid, Band-Aid, Band-Aid. My mf -er is Nick Nelson. It's a good mf -er, Jim. It's a good mf -er. Um, Again, this is tough. Two-game winning set. I'm going to piggyback a little bit, Jim. I'm going to go to Zach Britton. Yeah, he was the only other option I thought, yeah. There's one more, but he looks a lot like me. Uh, Zach Britton has given up earned runs. Last five games. Five consecutive, man. Um, and, you know, was kind of excited to see him tonight. We Zach keeps Zach Britton regular. In previous years, he's been better on the second day he pitches. Man, I mean, like I said, if, if we get Johnny, Johnny Laza back, which we should, um, you know, there can be games when we're lined up in the future. Araldis Chapman, Chad Green, Zach Britton, Johnny Lasagna. If you throw a little Lucas Litke in the, the mix to get you out of an inning, that's like a full, nice Major League bullpen. That's like a 3-1 game and you're feeling good. Like, we, we, can, we got this. Man, Zach Britton, and he hasn't had a lot of... Time, man. He's been hurt. His first appearance was in June. Um, You know, he's had eight appearances. It's July 22nd now. So, and he is a unique pitcher. So, it's just like right now, if Zach Brayden comes into a game, don't feel good. I do have trust that. He knows how to work through and find himself. So I'm not really that upset. Don't cost us games, I guess. But we've been through this with him. He needs to be regular. He needs to be going every other day or every third day. And he needs to be, like, really active. Otherwise, he loses it. It's almost like um, a softball pitcher, like girls softball in high school. Mm -hmm. It's so muscle memory that they say if you stop that motion for, like, a month, You'll completely lose your mechanics. You can't sure. just like fall back into it. Is what I've heard. I never heard that. played, uh, but I dated a girl who was a softball player, and her dad was the coach, and he told me that, and that's my source. So he told you that. Yes. Okay. 
He said high school softball pitchers, they have to just keep doing it even in the offseason or they're they're going to lose it. So that's, I mean, and you got to believe it or you're a high school guy dating someone's daughter, so you just say yes and, like, you got to keep it moving. Yeah, you well, you can't, you can't well, question it. Well, you know what? He's a, no good, he's a good baseball guy, though. Okay. Like, we had good baseball talks. That's fine. Yeah. And I believe him. Anyway, but that's Britton. He's just got to be in the routine. So once he gets there, I think he'll be fine. But, Brit- yeah, right now Britton it's not can great. be fine in a week and we're not a little bit surprised. Zach Britton last appearance without giving up an earned run. The date. What's today's date? Today is July 22nd. July 11th. I think it was pro- whatever his like second appearance of the year was. June 17th. How many outings? Didn't he get uh 1 2 3 4 5. So I'm just saying like it's obviously if it's a st- if it's a traffic sign, you know, it's kind of yellow light is up. Everything you're saying is right. If Zach has two back-to-back where he's throwing bowling balls, you're like, okay, you're, you're a low-key freak. You do your own thing out there. Good. But uh, if we want this good energy and this good juju to continue, Zach Britton kind of has to get in the mix. If the Yankees could have it their way, you'd like to get Britton into a game... And the score is in, in question. He could use a good four-run lead game. Feel just it a little, little just bit. Just let it go. Was today four? When he got in? It was I this think bar. It was three. This bar. <laughs> I will say today he got, he did get messed up by by an error on the first bat. Sure. Batter. Like he's, like it doesn't, everything you said is right. Doesn't help. Uh, tough tone setter. Two game, two games through the wickets. Eat our butts, Philly. Mm-hmm. Okay, time for regular old awards, which are brought to you by the jerseys that Jake and BBD are wearing right now as we record this video. We have a flash sale, a limited time only. Release at the John Boy Media Store, special edition John Boy Media jerseys. You can fully customize them with whatever name and number you want on the back. Uh, We're actually on JGR. We're going to draft our favorite names and number combos. Um, First time we've been doing a flash sale like this and we didn't know what was going to happen. Turns out our audience, once again, is absolutely Amazing. Turns out all the people that tweeted at us, when are you going to sell those jerseys? I want one. Mm. Weren't kidding. Wasn't weren't fake. kidding. Yeah. So go to shop.johnboymedia.com to buy your jersey today or click the link in the description of this video. These are a one-of-a-kind limited edition product that won't be available for purchase again. Get your jersey by going to shop. That's so cool. In 10 years, if we see someone with this jersey, it's going to be oh, like, right? oh, Fuck. It's like concert shit, man. You're a real one. It's like concert shit. They're like really high quality too, so that's going to last. All right, They're get nice. your jersey by going to shop.johnboymedia.com or clicking the link in the description of this video. Again, these jerseys will be will only be available from 10 a.m. on Wednesday, which it's already Thursday morning for everyone, to midnight on Friday, so get your order in soon. There you go. Uh, this award is the... Um, Just for... They have Friday to. It's not the Friday starting. Midnight Friday means you have Friday to order. Or Midnight no. Friday, all day Friday. All right? You have Friday to order. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, Your first award. My first award is the Figure.09 award. Figure.09. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to know much about this one. Figure dot oh nine. My guess is Stan, but I don't know. It's not Stan. Okay. Never was. I never said I knew it. So that sounds like you want to give Stan an award. We'll see. Uh, Figure dot oh nine is a Linkin Park song. If I can Ooh. cue up the right lyrics, I will real quick. I saw it in the back. I 
thing. I don't know if you had it. Oh, I'll just tell you the lyrics that I was that yeah. he says. Um, like damage done, so I guess just go. He says, uh, and now you've become a part of me. You'll always be right here. You've become a part of me. You'll always be my fear. Damn, dude. It's Rugen Odor. That's, that's like dark. my relationship. That's, really that's my rela- That's my full relationship with him right now. Yeah, I mean, we've we've done this before. I told you where my head's at. I'm just straight blinders at this point. <laughs> like, like. No, he's good now, Jake. He's, he's the been great, and he's the heart and soul. He's of the not team. great. He's fabulous. <laughs> 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 Do we have that as a drop? Because that, that was on there. One. He's not good. He's fabulous. <laughs> 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 that's broadcasting. I'll that's, taste other dudes. That's broadcasting. He's not good. They don't He's teach fabulous. that at broadcasting <laughs> <That's amazing>. anymore. <laughs> oh man, Odor, Odor, it's a homer today. They're so hip. <laughs> New York man, <laughs> so hip. Two hits, two RBIs. He's everywhere. He's all that ever was. Um, He's become a part of me. He's become a part of this team. He's going to be here next season. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. That's what people don't get. I don't think people know that enough. Yeah. I know people that listen to us know that, but I still think people think he's a crazy rental. Yeah. He's on the team next year. Yeah. I don't know how he's going to get at bats if Voight comes back, but he will. People get hurt, man. It never goes away. It never goes away. Now you become a part of me. That's how. That's how my version of it goes away. That's how my version goes. His stats have been like really good. Yeah, it's the best power hitting second baseman of all time up until this point. <laughs> uh, before the age of twenty eight or whatever yeah. it is, <laughs> he might be getting better. He's crazy. I mean, his numbers are, like, in his last month of baseball, he has good numbers. Not for nothing. Like, we've hit a point where there's Texas Ranger fans that are, like, mad. Ruggie plays for free for us. Yes. Like, we're paying all of Ruggie's salary. And Jake's going to be Odor for Halloween. Yeah. Or, like, you can do press conference Odor. Which means you got to get real big ears. Let me get my ears out. Ooh, if I get my headphones behind and my your hat's ears, hat's got to be like this, and you just look up, and you, it's like a it's like a Mike Ford press conference. It's angry. You're never satisfied if you're Rugnet Odor. Well, how could you be? Yeah. You have to. You're be the s- best power hitting second baseman of all time. You can't be happy. You're so hungry, dude. He's earning so much <laughs> money. He's, hitting He's got bombs, such a dude. chip on his shoulder. <laughs> bombs in clutch spots. Dude. Remember that when we first started doing this, and I've brought this up a couple times. When we first started doing this podcast, it was 2017, and I said during the playoff games, I said if you were to watch the broadcast and you were you never watched the Yankee game at all, you had no idea the structure of their team, no idea who was who, who was who, you'd think Todd Frazier was the longtime leader of the Yankees, right? Because he was at the top of the dugout at the uh, every day. He was talking high, to the rookies. talking to the rookies, talking to the pitchers everywhere. That's Rugnet Odor. If you were to drop someone that's visiting from London yeah. and watch them, have them watch... That's everyone's favorite player, right? Yeah. Have everyone... That, yeah. Just have them watch the last four games and then ask them, like, who do you think the captain of this team is? Yeah. They'd all say Odor. Easy. Easy. It's third. <laughs> they don't know that. They're from London. <laughs> I'd inform them that. They have no idea. I'd try to swing their is. boat with that. Yeah, so... I should make that a thing, like, because uh, I w- I'm going to bring that up over the years as we do that. Maybe like the uh, the casual fans captain, or like first the first the first time viewer captain. First time, and it's just like currently they're the leader of the team. Like Voight was it for a while last year. Yeah, it's Odor, right now. The... You'd watch a game. What's a country that doesn't play baseball? The Belarus captain. Well, when we say London, if I you... use London already. They kind of know we're bringing the game over there. Bobby brought it over. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to show the people I know Belarus. Okay. Olympics. Uh, Todd Frazier, Olympics. Can you like? Can we do like Croatian captain? Because at least it's got some alliteration there. Yeah. And I have an uncle from Croatia. Croatia. Dragon, what's up, dude? 
So the Croatian captain award Croatian uh, goes to uh, Rugnet Odor. <laughs> award might already be. <laughs> award's done. I like that BBD's kind of tough on the awards being finalized. Jarv said parachute fan captain. Is parachute fan a term? Is that an Aussie Where's term? Jarv been? Aussie, Australia. I need more Jarv. I guess we're we're recording at noon Australian time. BB's uh, keyboard He's adding. isn't working, and he keeps shaking it. It really hasn't been hard. working all week. We need a new keyboard. Okay. okay. Um, Noted. I tried switching the batteries. I was really hoping that was the fix yesterday. Mm. It's not. Did you make sure you switched them with good batteries? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have new batteries. Isn't it uh, funny when you play roulette with the batteries, and you just take them out of one remote and then put them in another, and you mix and match them and just hope, like... Some combination works, even though you know all four are dead. Have you met more of a battery roulette person than me? No, but I do it. I do it too. But if I if I do it, that means you're playing such big games with battery roulette. Like the closest thing I've ever conducted to science experiments are battery roulette. <laughs> well, this one, this one <laughs> okay, looks like it it's turned got on a, for a second. This one's got a little juice. So one of these has something. That one's full dead. Yeah. One might, this one might have a little juice. Yeah, that's your life. Yeah. Okay, uh, Odor gets the Croatian captain, a.k.a. the Lincoln Park uh, Award. And this is something I, I thought about during the game, which obviously the Yankees... How many things did you think about in total during the game? A lot. 200? More than that, right? <laughs> I would hope. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be. <laughs> it's just five channels just constantly turning. I wonder what Noodle Jess ever to. Oh, there's Rugi. Um, no, I was I was thinking that, you know, we're... Obviously, the Odor stuff has been wild. We He's on our team because he's free. <laughs> um... Obviously, the Yankees analytics, there's something there. He hits the ball hard, and he's shown that at times. I think it's the part that I guess is funny in my head is that Runit Odor was a really well-liked guy in the Texas Rangers for a while. He was their second baseman. Um, And, you know, hit 30 homers, and we've obviously seen him. He has fun, and he's around a lot. Uh, Rugi Odor... We laugh. He expects this. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm batting third now. I hit the home run, head down. Let me get around the bases, maybe a little slowly, just to enjoy it. But, like, Rugi, Rugi believes, which is awesome. Yes. Which is awesome. Uh, Jim, I am going to give out the Baby143 award. A lot of numbers. This we always go back to them. We're so good with them. Baby, I love you award. Baby, one four three. Yeah, that's a really good award because he goes one for three. Yeah, and then one four three is I love you. Yeah, and you're falling in love with him. Yeah. BB just shook the keyboard again, and it's it's, it's it. let's shook it again. It's Florial. It is Florial. Uh, and Jim, you're missing a third connection. Libby Kennedy. Um. A friend from middle school, high school. Um, had a crush for a little bit in middle school, sixth grade. Um, can't say that. Her screen name was Baby143. B A Y B E E 143. Uh, and so if you go one for three, and if you play center field, and if you make it look fun, oh. You got me roped. And Estevan Florial, so funny, man. Uh, you know, press conference before the game, they're talking about Florial, and they're just like, yeah, happy he's getting regular bats. You know, they, they got the opportunity to say, like, yeah, we like how he looks. Maybe we'll give him a look if he keeps playing like this or anything like that. They just said, oh, we're happy he's playing at AAA. He gets called up. He starts both games. He goes one for three because that's what he does. And, man, I'm just into it. Um, Again, everything I said at the start of the show, show, you can see the tools. He's had a couple baby deer moments in the outfield, but that just endears me to him. And his press conference the other other day, go watch it. It's cute as hell. Still haven't seen it. He's wearing, he looks like 
kind of a college kid, first day of work, like polo tucked in, uh, and he's you know talking about his first career home run. And he's just like, yeah, my my wife called me before the game and said it would be a good day to have my first home run, and I hit it. And she's like, man, you are a <laughs> sweet fun, boy. I think I was uh, I was I was talking to my wife before heading to the stadium. Say, hey, hey, you, you can't hit that homer today. <laughs> I think this is the first thing come to my mind. So when I was um, running the base, so it's cute nice. as a button. Cute. And I don't know. I don't know. Catch if he catches fire for two weeks, cool. Um, if we see him in a couple years in the Yankees, and we get to joke about how many years we talked about Florial, and he's actually something, or <laughs> if he does find himself in a trade deadline deal for a piece, it's kind of cool all around. But I'm I'm enjoying watching him, man. He's he looks the part, man. He's a beast. One for three in his first game ever as a big leaguer. One for three in his second game ever as a big leaguer. One for three in his third game ever as a big leaguer. One for three in his fourth game ever as a big leader. Big leaguer. Uh, we'll see if he gets another shot. He might. Yeah. He should. Keep him around until he stops. And know it, man. I guess there's a lot of outfielders then. There's a lot going on. Florial's the number one. The Yankees have had a lot of moments with all these different guys in the lineups where you're like, okay, you know, two outs. We've got a little rally here. The Yank these guys aren't giving away at bats, and Florial's been at the top. Like, all we've heard about is how he's not MLB ready, how he's raw, he's not polished. He's given us a couple big league at bats this series. In the first game, the bottom of the lineup, Florial, Wade, and Gardy. They all gave show at bats. They gave Aaron Nola another 21 pitches that changes the whole outlook of this series. So, I, if you can hear, I'll find anything to talk about Florida. I'll love him. Okay. I love him. Talk about his shoe size. I bet they're big, man. I would guess he's. Let me think about this. I don't want to say anything controversial. I could see him having top five shoes on the team, biggest. That's, I mean, Judge has to have the biggest. You'd like to think Judge is the one. Stanton? One of the pitchers has to have big old feet, like like Monty. Come on. Be so far. How would he be able to walk? Like, I would. Monty's got big feet. I'd give huge feet. Uncomfortable. Monty might give Judge a run for his money. Sir Lumpenstein feet. Um. Florio's listed, he's listed 6'1", 195. I think he's got big feet, man. You think so? I do. Tyone, he's probably up there. I can see Tyone having big feet. I think he's talked about it before. And Stan, that's four there. I don't know if Stan has them. You don't think so? I don't think you so. You think eight and a half or something like that? I didn't say that. You just went down from ten. Well, circus feet? Come on. Stuffs his shoes so they don't look weird. He's got big feet. I saw Chapman in the chat. Oh, Chapman's feet. Chapman d- might not have the biggest total feet, but his f- his toes yeah. are the biggest length toes. of my fingers. Chapman has the biggest toes. Chapman's toes are huge. There's no doubt about that in my biggest mind. Toes on the team. Like he Easily. grips things. <laughs> you think he could throw a baseball from the mound? I don't know. He's pretty flexible. He's really flexible. I like, I want to, if anyone's got a picture of Esteban Florio's feet, <laughs> please send them to me. Sound like a, I Google it. Sound like a creep, dude. Just go to his Instagram. He's been, he's been shoeless on a beach on his Instagram before. Esteban what do you think they feet. call him? Flo? Esti? Esteban? I'd assume Flo. Flo. I think that it's got to be Flo, right? Van. Van? Van? <laughs> so that's not, doesn't suit him. Van. Okay, I have a, I have a feet pick. You have a floral feet pick? Yes. It's on his Instagram, I told you. He's wearing sandals, but I mean, those are his feet. They look, they don't look wide, but they do look lengthy. 
like cut out if you photoshop cut the foot and put it on the baby it'd be the size of the baby's torso yeah and that that's usually how they judge that's feet. how you measure feet when you go yeah. to the shop yes every shop has a baby oh Who's got a baby? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to measure my feet. What did you say your second award was? My second award was the Fuck Stepping Stones Award. Okay. Okay. I had a situation where there was a link to Twitter that said Peace, Love, and Dirty Feet. Yes. And Estevan Florial. So and thought, Estevan Florial. So I thought he tweeted something like that. The there's an account, Peace, Love, and Dirty Feet, that tweeted about Estevan Florial. What they say about him? Uh, it was 2018 number two prospect. He's the epitome of five tool, but still raw. Uh, Yankees top 50 prospects coming soon. Is that Keith Law's burner account? Could be. Just can step away from the game though. Created mm. a burner account to talk about feet, but just cannot get away from mm. scouting prospects. I'll taste other dudes. I want to see those feet. It's a funny concept. Keith Law creating an, an account for his other hobbies, but he's but just, just such he's just such a robot. Get soaked, sucked in. It's like time. this is my foot account, but it's just Florial <laughs> takes. That's literally Keith Law's take out of Florial. I guess everyone's, but whatever. Um, fuck a stepping stone award goes to Aldis Chapman. Mm-hmm. He shot past he hates it. Eight stepping stones. We had heard through the grapevine that he was he was just said I need to work on my mechanics. I know what I need to fix. I'm going to take mm-hmm. the All Star game to fix it. The Kutch home run sucked, but the Kutch home run was so impressive by Kutch and not that unimpressive by Chappie. He just beat that fastball to yeah. the spot. It was a pretty nice pitch, and then the six pitches after that. Were the best six pitches, best six fastballs he's thrown all year, I think. Yeah. If not in the top 15, all six. They were in the intensity and confidence with which he threw them Ooh. is really was the shining moment of, of them. It looked like, different. oh, he just re- geared back and threw his fastball. That's what Chapman's supposed to be doing. Maybe the split finger got him too comfy with the other pitches and he lost the feel for the fastball a little bit. Obviously, in game two, he hits a deep fly out, a walk, deep fly out. He does pick off Reeser, so you can say he had help, but he helped him himself by mm-hmm. picking him off. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like a stolen base where he didn't do anything. He did it. And then uh, how did they get the last out? Today. Strikeout? Because he stared him down, right? Yes. Brad Miller struck him out. Brad After Miller. going right by his head. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's that DD at bat. Hoskins walk. DD fly out. Hoskins caught stealing. Brad Miller. Punch out a hundy. Chapman's back, man. I hope so. Again, I know I didn't want to talk about tomorrow issues. He should be out for tomorrow, pitching back to back days. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, I mean Feel a lot better. If a week ago we felt about Chapman, uh, what, a three, a two? We're back up to six, something like that. What? I'm a, I'm Chapman's Chapman right now. Oh. Maybe eight out of ten. Wow. Lowest I'd go. Hot, hot, hot. You got through it. Persevered. Okay. It's Chapman. Okay. He does need a day off tomorrow, though. The fingernail issue thing sucks, though. Yeah, a little bit. Come out again, look at him. Chop it off or sew it up. Who knows? Yeah. Take one of them toes. <laughs> <laughs> a finger anyway. <laughs> but it's for real. He has a toe the size of my pinky finger. No, like, I, I'd bet money on it. Bigger. Our friend Ken's toe was the size of my pinky yeah. finger. Yeah. Not disgusting size of a toe. And my friend Ken's toe was the size of this. I'm not joking. His middle toe. I have a little bit of personal information I'll share with you after the show. It has to do with a baby, so I can't just like discuss it on here. Huge toes? 
can't discuss it. Okay. That's a teaser, people. Maybe Monday. You would. Ha- you have another award that you get to give out. Yes. Jim. I'm giving the... Uh, I was away for the weekend, but definitely next year award. Hmm. Interesting. I was going to two people, by the way. What? Yeah. Took some liberties. Closer to God now. Oh my God. Chad and Litke? The ugh. Oh my God. I was away for the weekend, but maybe next year award. Goes to Ryan Lamar and Brooks Krisky. I was away for the weekend. I'll I'll be away for the weekend, but maybe next year. Yeah. Because Jim, one of my favorite events, uh, whether in Denver, Dallas, New York City, is Pride Weekend. Yes. And if you know, if you have weekend plans, you can miss Pride. And these two guys just miss Pride, Jim. Because, man, either of them could have got it. You know I love the feel of Pride of the Yankees. Brooks Krisky. We've talked talked about how many times Nick Nelson's been put in bad scenarios this year. Krisky got a tough one today. How's your 10th inning? Runner on second. Phillies known for their lineup, if anything. Gets through it. No runs. Extra inning. Great performance by him. And then Ryan Lamar, he hits the game winner, which, by the way, I mean, wasn't a layup, man. I mean, Ryan Lamar pinch hitting for Guardy, and that's kind of in your head you're picturing. We were asking if he was going to bunt, and then we're like, no, you can't bunt because if you're bunt, you just have Guardy bunt, and you want to burn the body. Ryan Lamar drives one to deep right, game-winning hit. Uh, we had a little bit of Lamar fever from last series. Florial kind of boxes him out with the righty starting pitchers. And he has the game-winning hit in a two-game set. So these two guys just missed pride, but they'll go next year. I would have added Glaber to that as well. Has the home run, three home runs out of four games now. Also lays down the bunt, like you said, didn't know he had that in his bag which allows the sack fly, changes the way they play defense, allows that ball to go. Bunt was good. He did boot the ball. Hot uh, shot right at him. He was pretty laissez-faire about it. Yeah. no, Standing up straight. So that's where I had Lamar and Chris on a tier above him. I have Lamar on a tier above Chris there. Really? Yes. You have one at bat. Over an inning pitched in extras, runner on second. Yeah, they gave him the first out. That's tough. They'll be back next year. But did we miss anyone else? Uh, let's see. Domingo Herman started the first game. We just didn't talk about him. He goes... <laughs> Him and Roach both went four innings pitch, two and runs. So, that was our starting pitching this series. Uh, we talked a lot about the pen. I would have pray you 1.2, scoreless again. Is he having, he's having like a nice year. Yeah, sh- you think he's going to be a trade piece? Either like a trade piece or use him more, <laughs> you know? I trade him this uh, year or next year. We're, like, excited to see him be on the team because he'll be f- for sure out of options. He has, God, 188 ERA, 14.1 innings. Not crazy, but that's a nice – that's really nice. What about I was going to give out an award called, like, the – yeah, my grandma award. 
You thought about giving that Yeah, up. it's uh, I couldn't figure it out, but there's a tie-in here about Brett Gardner's grandma's name is Punky Russell. Punky Russell. And he punked the hell out of Florial today. Mm. Basically like, oh. yeah, the lineup card says you're playing center field, Estefan. Yeah. But I'm just going to go ahead and take every ball. <laughs> if there's to, a game on the line, I got it. So I think he stole two balls from him today. I got it. And one yesterday when Florial just hit the deck. Was that today or that yesterday? Was today. That was the start of today. He fell. Just fell backwards. And then at the end of today, the last Started out that Chris got. Way. That's a long I don't know on TV if it showed. That was a long way. Already came a long way. His homer was pretty big. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, the piano fun, man's dude. doing some stuff. Uh, and Rob Brantley deserves some love. A, he's a big talking Yanks guy, so love that. And how about him sucking it up at first base? First MLB game at first base. He had one nice pick early, which was pretty nice. And then he had the one, I don't want to say eat him up. That's rude. It was a tough pick, and he, he didn't get it, and he's not a first baseman. So yeah, it added I think, up. I think, like, Glaber needs to make a better throw than that. If Voight or somebody who's natural at first base is there, yeah, it probably gets picked. I think it might be a little closer. And he gets... He gets a hit, hit and a walk. He was having tough at bats, man. Double. Rob Brantley. Glaber also made an error in game one that they didn't give him an error on. The non error. Yeah. That's the one. They gave him the hit. I believe that's a that's the the scoop play. The scoop. Yeah, that's the Rob yeah. Brantley play. Yeah, yeah. So made me think of it. So some nice scoring. But not great defense from Glaber. Only, only other. Back next I don't year. even know if it's. Have you said anything about Giancarlo Stanton this episode? Not a lot. Uh, he's kind of like a stepping stone award, kind of like we needed to see this. Now, if he can take that into Fenway, I do think he loves hitting in Fenway. I do think he loves hitting against the Red Sox. Doesn't he have good numbers it's against them? I blindly yeah. agree. The vibes. I got. Good. I have one blind agree in BBD. Anyone in the chat want to blindly I agree with me? Agree. While Jake. You want to do it? Just blindly agree. You I can. I want to agree. I want to go. I want to go. Uh, I want to go. Be, if he's dialed in for Boston, that would be awesome. You want to play left field? You want to get a burger or something? Something like that. Um, let's see. The Boston Red Sox. Yeah, seven ninety one OPS, but it's been it better career. recently. Huh? Yeah, yeah. This career 791. We yes. blindly believe. Don't uh, look this year. As a Yankee at Fenway, his first season, 486 batting average with the 811 slugging. Uh, at Fenway, his second season, didn't play because he only played like 18 games. Never got a game. Last year at Fenway... Really bad numbers. Oh, at, at Fenway. That's what I'm so saying. So I thought we were doing all Red Sox. At Fenway, he does have good career numbers. So we blindly agreed right. He's got a one dot, 063 OPS in 17 uh, games. That's what I thought they would show it when he plays that. At Fenway, yeah. So there. He's, there you go. Good way to get hot for and a little bit. He's getting hot. Beauty. Beauty. Pulling through the monster. He's got a 1.063 OPS at Fenway, like you just said, yeah. and it's his seventh best away park. He's a little bit of a sick puppy. Uh, Atlanta, Fort Bragg. It's one for one with a triple. <laughs> That's tough. What is that game? <laughs> uh, military game, I'm guessing. The one that there's a lot of hub hub about with uh, Zach Campbell going and all that hub hub. Supposedly, him him and Marlins man got a huge like fight about it. A lot of hub hub. Good stuff. All right, goodbye. Go Yankees. Thank you very much for tuning in. Love you. If you saw us at the game today and said hi, thanks for saying hi. Appreciate. It. Go Yanks. Goodbye. Tell them, Grams. Go Yankees. <laughs>